Welcome back to MJL3764 collecting Elvis on vinyl and CD. Today will be a CD showing as will the next batch of videos because at the moment I'm taking inventory on all my CDs so while I'm taking them all off the shelf I thought I'd show them all off and do a quick review. I will be getting back to vinyl about halfway through the CD collection I'll do some more vinyl for the people that like vinyl out there. But be rest assured it will be all Elvis. So today I thought we'd start with these two CDs. This is Always On My Mind, The Ultimate Love Songs Collection. And Blue Sway Choose, The Ultimate Rock and Roll Collection. Let's take a look at this one first, as this one was issued first in 1997. This CD features 26 tracks and runs for 78 minutes. Well known picture of Elvis on the front but nice cover. Take a look at the track listing. As with these love songs compilations you have to include Are You Lonesome Tonight, It's Now or Never, Can't Help Falling In Love, Love Me Tender etc. I mean a love songs Combination won't be complete without these. I know we've got them dozens of times before, but this one's quite a good combination as it does include some lesser known Elvis tracks, lesser known to the casual buyer. I believe this CD was aimed at the casual buyer. It was a full price CD when it came out, it was a retail for about $9.99. But you've got stuff on here like uh, Gentle on my mind, Spanish eyes, help me make it through the night, and I love you so. So it was a pretty good combination, I thought. The always on my mind version is the stringed version, which I prefer the original, call me old fashioned, with James Burton's guitar prominent on it, but it's not bad. As far as I can remember, these are all the regular versions. So yeah, there's a few nice additions. Uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water is the version without the added applause at the end, so that's nice to get. And It's Only Love is the better version, what I call the better version, where there's less backing. When Elvis says lines like, it's time to face reality, tomorrow brings another day and I just can't get enough. Uh, when he sings these lines on some versions, he's completely drowned out by the backing. Not on this version, but on some versions. Thankfully, most of the versions are like these, where Elvis is singing them lines solo. I think one of the versions which features the overblown backing is on Elvis Now, on the FTD of Elvis Now. So check that one out and you'll, you'll see what I mean. Let's take a look at the booklet. The booklet looks like that. I'll have a quick thumb for it. You can see a picture of Elvis there. Excuse my hands. All the track listings there. And I did notice having a quick look through, and I love you so, has got a publishing date of 1977 instead of 1975. I haven't gone through this booklet for a long while, so I don't know if there's any more mistakes. I'm pretty sure it is the standard Elvis Today version of And I Love You So, not the live version, which was out on Elvis in concert in 77, so I'm pretty sure it's the, uh, the 75 version. Well known picture of Elvis there on the back. And the CD looks like that. I believe the back of the tray features the same picture. So, a very good release. One year later, 1998, saw the follow-up to the Ultimate Love Songs collection with the Ultimate Rock and Roll collection. And this features 33 tracks and runs for 73 minutes. As I said with the last one, it was a very good combination. Us proper fans, we can always 
turn around and gripe and say, well, I would have preferred this CD to feature It Hurts Me, or in my humble opinion, The Fair's Moving On, something great like that, but it wasn't a, a bad choice of songs. With this one, however, I know it is, it's aimed at the casual buyer, but if you're making an ultimate rock and roll collection with Elvis, and you don't feature Ready Teddy, then it's a no-no for me straight away. They have featured some tracks on here, which I wouldn't have put on here personally, but I can see why they did it. Uh, stuff like Return to Sender, and Stuck on You, Okula Baby, all big hits, but leaving out, I mean, they were probably classed as rock and roll songs when they were out, but you've left off on this compilation a lot more stronger, edgier stuff, which I believe should have been on here. So let's take a look at the track listing and see. Cover again, very nice. Well used picture of Elvis, but it works. So let's take a look at the track listing. You've got 33 tracks, it runs for 73 minutes. If you want me to gripe, there's seven minutes there, which rock and roll songs are only two minutes, two and a half minutes. You could have got another three tracks on here, really, especially as you're missing some. But nothing wrong with any of those. And then we get to Teddy Bear. Yeah, it's a rock and roll song, maybe, but as you've taken party and got a lot of living to do from the Loving You record, if you're asking me, I would have put Mean Woman Blues on here instead of Teddy Bear. Mr. OK, Marie's The Name Is Latest Flame, one of my favourite Elvis singles. Is it really edgy enough to be on here? Again, Rockahoola Baby. I like it. I think I think that just about qualifies. Stuck on you, return to sender. So there's the 50s and 60s tracks. Yes, they probably wanted to add a few 60s tracks as well. So that's maybe why you've got return to sender. But looking at this track listing, you're missing stuff like Ready Teddy, uh, the other two little Richard tracks, Long Tall Sally, Tutti Fruity. I want to sit right down and cry over you. None of these are on here. Mean Woman Blues, as we said. If you wanted another single, personally, I would have put I Got Stung on here. Um, one Night's a Bit Bluesy, so I might not have put that on, on here. I Got a Woman's not on here. Lordy Miss Claudie's not on here. So, yeah. Maybe I would have done a slightly different track listing. And also the 70s tracks, Burning Love and Way Down, nothing wrong with these, two great tracks. Personally, where's Promised Land? For me, it would have been Promised Land and T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Again, it's just a personal preference, but there's nothing wrong with Burning Love and Way Down, but I think Promised Land and T-R-O-U-B-L-E would have been a little bit more apt. Let's take a look at the booklet. Here's the booklet and CD. They've scrimped a little bit on the booklet. This is just a piece of cardboard, basically. The track listings. I did notice uh, Ain't That Loving You Baby seems to have a publishing date of 1959. So I thought that was released a bit later than that. And the CD looks like that, and the back of the tray like that. There you have two pretty good releases, although I have my gripes on them. They were pretty good releases for the time, and for the time they both sounded fine. And for Beatle fans, you can now see that Elvis had a red and a blue album as well. Just like that. All oh, right, I'm, I'm stretching it a bit far, but they are red and blue. But yeah, pretty good releases for their day and worth picking up. Back in the day, if you could not afford 9 99 for these two releases, around the same time came these two releases, Classic Elvis and Love Songs. 
these were issued at a cheaper price. These were, I believe I paid $5.99 for these two combinations. And they were great because they brought back the great Camden label. So we had two new Camden combinations on CD. Brilliant. First one's not really a rock and roll album, it's called Classic Elvis, but it does feature a lot of rock and roll songs. Features 16 tracks, runs for 37 minutes. And out of the 16 tracks, 11 were featured on this CD. So it is sort of a rock and roll CD. Nice picture on the front. These are pretty plain packaging because, as I say, they were only 5 99 Disc. I don't believe there's anything in the booklet. No. Oh, it does open up. Yeah, there's a little bit of a write up in the booklet. And let's take a look at the tracks. There's the tracks on the back. So, with the exception of a couple of Big hit, it's now or never. It's pretty much a rock and roll album. It does feature some of the tracks which I thought were omitted on the last one. I Got a Woman, Lordy Miss Claudie, and Mean Woman Blues. So this was a good substitute if you couldn't afford that one. And again, they, for the time, they sounded fine. This wasn't a bad release at all. 1999 saw the release of this Camden CD. Elvis Presley Love Songs. This features 20 tracks and runs for 61 minutes. And with this one they pushed the boat out a bit. This one's got a bit of a booklet and it's got a picture CD. And features 20 tracks and a lot of them are not seen on other Elvis compilations. So very good. Excellent release this one. There's your picture on the disc, you can see that. And they've put a few pictures behind. The tray, very good. And the booklet we'll take a look at in a minute. Let's take a look at the track listings first. And this shares six tracks with this CD. But after track eight, They sort of go well off the beaten track, which is good for, for fans like us. So you've got the familiar tracks. And then you've got the brilliant, I want you, I need you, I love you. That's when your heartaches begin. True Love is not one of my favourite Elvis' songs. I would put something else on there. Young and Beautiful, Doing the Best I Can, Something Blue, Angel, that's someone you never forget. Just pretend. Excellent. For the good times, one without love, he'll have to go and it's impossible. Absolutely great combination this one with songs which you don't see too often. Obviously us fans know these songs very well, but for a, a CD priced at 5 99 this was an excellent buy for the time. Let's take a look at the booklet. Front picture is a well-known picture of Elvis. And as I say, you've got a bit of a booklet in this one. Which is good. Good text and the tracks, etc. Uh, picture there of Elvis and uh, what's her face. So, four very good combination CDs. So, until the next time, just remember what is music. Life's no waste.